Well, I think the best way, you know, to a preemptive strike against hazing is to explain to them what it is, what it looks like, and then why you don't want to have it around and how it hurts your football team. So, you know, we take the time to do that, to explain the, the different references to where uh, one player is uh, treated lesser than another. Uh, and we talk about some of those actions that have historically taken place throughout locker rooms in the NFL and other places. And, uh, and then try to explain clearly to them, you know, why they don't belong and they have no place uh, in our locker room. And certainly that's always going to meet with some resistance, particularly with players that have been hazed in the past and have a sense of entitlement that, you know, they need to be, they need to ha have that opportunity as well. Um, our players seem to have worked through that very well. And uh, I think the, the clearer you can paint the picture early, the better you, chance you have to uh, resolve the issue early.